Buenas, continuamos con la historia principal. Haremos ecos del pasado. Esta se activa automáticamente tras completar la misión principal anterior, el rey ha muerto. Nos tenemos que dirigir al campamento de druida, que ya aparece indicado en el mapa, para reunirnos con Jennifer. clear on the other side of the island. Good! May all Skellige know Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief! Control yourself, Druid! I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! A generosity! Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive, and all the Isles with us! Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Urboros created the mask, and the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his patrol, Urboros made the mask which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. So, no one's ever used the mask? No, but... So you don't actually know if it works, how it works? Of course I do. The myths tell me. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief! I'm not about to justify what Yennefer did. Then don't! But try to understand her. She's not doing this to anger you, she's doing it for Ciri. I know there are maternal feelings at play, but this is no excuse, no justification. The mask of Urboros belongs to Skellige and should be used for the good of the Isles. If Yennefer uses it now, it shall lose its power, not to mention... What? What was that? No. Yennefer's used the mask. Bajamos por el camino. that unicorns damn it yana i saw the foglets i meant how they get here the power of the mask summoned them what now the mask reveals the past but only in certain places places where past events left a strong magical imprint take it want me to wear it yes i'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes 
Well, let's go. This way. Already found the first spot. Tenemos que ir siguiéndola y nos ponemos la máscara cada vez que sea necesario. magic explosion of some sort. So powerful that even the Echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. But Ciri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. Place is creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone who has a slim chance of survival. I know what you're thinking. But don't worry. Siri can take well. Ready? Someone chased Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Velen. Any chance you can figure out where Siri's companion fled to? This portal's gotta be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. Held the other with powerful magic, then fled through a portal. A mage? Most likely. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you've brought down on us! If someone's death were to help you find Ciri, would you start making human sacrifices as well? Relax. Storm's died down. You've clearly got things under control. For now! But who knows what will be a week or two on? Stop panicking! Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. You I'll deal with later. So? Got a feeling we found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you...? I can. Armor's clean. No blood, no sword nicks. Ciri's friend must have... What do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. 
Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? It's a long story that involves the Elder Blood, Siri's abilities. Did she, perchance, inherit her mother's skills? Siri can do much more than her mother could. But right now we're much more interested in what the Wild Hunt was doing on Hindisfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the cataclysm struck here on Ard Skelly. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders set the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women, and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Elegimos pasar automáticamente la siguiente misión. Wait, can't we go together right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have to. <laughs> you also drink them when there's no need at all. Very well. Let's go. Stay close to me. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. Quite a few years since I was last on this here. But if I remember correctly, Lofton should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the Wild Hunt. Esta nueva misión se llama Desaparecido. La seguimos. such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So? And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. We're looking for a young woman, name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I buried so many, I may have forgotten. This, this Siri, uh, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes, yes, what happened to her? I don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before, before it all. She was in the stables. But Craven, a thousand curses upon him. This Craven you mentioned, does he have a name? He did. Until the Elder struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvog. Morkvog? What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skellige. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women, Mm -hmm. Know the type. They said he feared only one thing. The wrath of the gods. Borkvarg sought to prove how wrong they were. So he sailed to Hindisfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. 
As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him, and Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? You've got some work to do. I can get rid of Morkvarg. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvarg, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse, meaning I need more information. I understand, but I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. El siguiente objetivo será encontrar el jardín de Freya y buscar a Menguado. Vamos al lugar que nos marca en el mapa. Worry this trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? My, my. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. Mission completada. Saludos, suerte, y nos vemos la próxima.